Okay, let's get this started. So I just came out to my students. I've been wanting to do this for the past two years. Sorry, I'm like so emotional. Um, and I just haven't had the courage to do it. I don't think your students even care. I mean, let's just drop the whole LGBT thing here for a second. I don't think they care. I really don't. Because especially when you say you're sixth grade students, they're not thinking about this. Out of fear of just judgment, mostly from their parents. But I... Mostly from their parents. Um, maybe you just shouldn't tell your students that because it's not something they need to know had these kids in fourth grade and now I have them in sixth and I'm sending them to middle school and I love these kids so much and I trust them and they make me feel safe and I know they love me the, the kids make you feel safe what are you talking about and just felt right and I I did it and it was so beautiful <laughs> by the way by the way, I have, I have a question. If you're crying, where are the tears? I, I'm actually getting really tired of the crocodile tears. Crocodile tears means that you're pretending to cry. I really don't think you're actually moved by this. You're just doing this because you want to make a TikTok video saying you came out to your students and now it's blowing up. Whatever. You're on a hype train. This is why I can't stand people like you, because, you know, me being bi, and yes, I am bi, I've actually went into tears. Actually had tears rolling down my face, thinking that I was just wrong in being who I am when I was in my 20s, or even in my teens. But, I, it, 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 you know, it took a long time for me to come to terms with that. Representation matters. Really? To me, you, you, you just come off as a poser. You really do. Where are the fucking tears? And I know that, it, you know, people are going to be saying like, oh, you're dehumanizing her. How dare you? I'm like, no. I have actually fucking had streams of tears come down my eyes. You know, when I finally accepted who I was. And, you know, be, be you know, finally owning up to what I chose to be, who I am. This person, I don't know if they're faking it. You know, I don't have the evidence to say that she's faking it, but to me, it just feels posery. I know that's not a word, but that's, that's the word that comes to my head. She feels like a poser. So you go ahead and you come out to your little children's students which, by the way, is kind of creepy. I, I, like, I'm sorry, 6th graders are like 12, 13, or 11, 12, you, you know? It's like, maybe you should have talked to adults about this? Like, like, I'm sorry, like, why would you tell kids who don't even understand their own sexuality about... What, what what you came out as. It, it, it makes no sense to me. It, it makes no bloody fucking sense. Because they're not going to understand. They're just going to say, oh, that's okay. You know, be whatever you want. Because they are fragile. They want to make people happy. Kids for the most part. They don't understand adult issues like this one. So, you having a fit over this? It's not going to mean much when the kids actually start understanding what you told them. Some of them are probably going to feel offended that you came out about about whatever your sexuality is. And probably going to feel very uncomfortable. This is why you don't talk to kids about your sexuality, you adult woman! They had so many questions, which I loved. Uh-huh, sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had so many questions, like, why are you telling me this? I don't even know what you're talking about. 
They wanted to learn and they wanted to learn about me and... Uh, I don't think so. They were so eager and... Eager to what? Because this is sounding really predatory now. This is sounding like predatory behavior. They were really eager, not them being predators, but you preying on them. A few of them clapped, which was... And they clapped! They clapped! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, you know what? I'm done. Uh, lady, listen here. First off, I have to tell you one thing. The nose ring, get rid of it. You know, it doesn't look good on you. Or you can keep it. I don't give a fuck. But uh, if you want, actually want to be attractive, uh, get rid of that thing. Um, don't go and tell your students, your little, uh, y y you know, your entire class about your sexuality. Because that is really fucking weird. And I would say it's damn near pedoph uh, pedophilic behavior. Because this is, this, like, if, if I saw a man doing this... For instance, like, like, if I saw a man doing this, I would be freaked out. I would be freaked the fuck out. You don't tell kids about this because they don't understand. If you want them to understand, you know, tell them when they're like 16, when they have better knowledge of it. Like, give me a... Oh, my God. I hate these type of stories because when, especially when kids are involved, my mind starts to turn in and I'm just wondering who was harmed. I seriously, don't do this again. Please don't. Because this, this went from you being, uh, well, I came out and then everyone was happy to borderline fucking creepy and pedophilic. Stop telling children about your sexuality. Stop smiling about this, by the way. This is psychopathy. Oh my goodness, a bunch of kids give you, gave you validation. As you put it. I don't fucking care. Congratulations. Uh, I, I hope you didn't harm any of those kids, but I'm thinking that you probably did. Goodbye.